Hey guys, I've got another story and it's called The Storm That Stopped. Let's read it. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Alrighty. One day, long ago, Jesus was teaching people by the sea. Soon some more people arrived, and then others, and then more and more, until there were people everywhere. We can't hear back here. Be quiet. Give me some room. I can't see. The crowds were just too big. No one could see Jesus and no one could hear Jesus. So Jesus asked his friends, the disciples, to push their boat out into the water. He sat in the boat and the huge crowd spread out along the beach. And now they could see and hear Jesus as he told them all about God. When he had finished teaching the people, Jesus said to his friends, Let's go over to the other side of the sea. What a fun idea, Jesus. <laughs> well, Jesus had finished teaching the crowd, and now he had something to teach his friends, but they did not know it yet. So they all jumped into the boat, and they are so happy. They jumped in with him and they set sail across the sea. At the moment it looks very peaceful. Jesus, there he is. He was so tired. He'd been teaching the people all day. So he lay down in the back of the boat and he fell asleep. It was a quiet evening, and the water gently lapped against the boat, and the sun slowly set in the sky. Jesus was sleeping. The disciples were quietly talking. It looked so peaceful. And then, all of a sudden... <laughs> they were in the middle of the biggest, loudest, scariest, most ginormous storm you could imagine. Those waves look huge. The wind blew hard and the waves grew huge. The water poured into the boat. But Jesus was asleep. Man. The wind blew harder and the waves grew huger and the water filled the boat, but Jesus was still asleep. Jesus! Wake up, wake up, we're drowning! Don't you care? What a silly thing to say to Jesus. Of course he cared. He loved his friends so much that one day he was going to die for them. Hmm? What do you mean I don't care? What? Well, Jesus stood up in the boat and the wind was still blowing. Here we've got our different meters. We've got our window meter. Uh, if it reaches here, alert, alert. Uh, it's orange. It wouldn't be outside if I were you. And blue, there's like a mild breeze, so it's right up. And then there's a waver meter. The waves were bigger than ever. It's not just uh, a few waves, but nothing too serious. Big waves get out of the sea. It's red, too late, help! <laughs> uh, we've got the sinker meter over here. Hey, there's some water on the boat. Or up here, um, you should really do something about this water. Or up here, past the 90% point, I really hope you know how to swim. The water was pouring into the boat quicker than the disciples could tip it out again. And here we have our panic ometer, uh, getting worried, but nothing serious. That's 60%. Okay, you're officially in panic mode. It's time to calm down and 90% major panic attack. 
the boat was sinking. But then Jesus did something amazing. He didn't help his friends pull the water out of the boat. He didn't help them try to row back to land. Jesus simply spoke. But he didn't speak to the disciples. He spoke to the storm, to the wind, and to the waves. Quiet! Be still! Just three little words, and the storm stopped. Right away, at that very moment, the sea was quiet and still and calm. What? <laughs> They look so surprised. I'd be freaking out. That's crazy. And then Jesus looked at his friends. Why are you so afraid? Do you still not trust me? <laughs> it's just like, remember at the start of the book where he's like, let's go over to the other side of the sea. That sounds fun. Why are you so afraid? Do you still not trust me? But they were terrified. And they asked each other, Who is this? Even the waves and the wind do what he says. This is what Jesus wanted to teach them. He wanted them to know who he really is. Now, the disciples already knew a lot about God from his special book, and they knew that God had made everything. He made the world, he made the sun, and he made the moon and the stars. He made the sea and the wind as well. And they knew that only God can tell the sea what to do, that only God can tell the wind when to blow or the waves when to crash. Only God can do these things. But the disciples had just seen Jesus doing the same things God can do. So, what is the answer to their question? Who is Jesus? Jesus is God. What an epic story, telling us who Jesus really is. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or the rest of your evening whenever you're watching this, and I hope to see you soon. All right, bye.